All right, we're back on the property. I made it up here. So there's the heights of the bank. It's already been cut back a little bit. Basically blow this all out right up close to the house. That uh, tree bush thing will probably be going bye-bye. See, they got the five containers over there and then got mine over there. Fairly hard ground. This little rise right here needs to be knocked out to make a road through here. This all needs to be filled in a little bit through here too to kind of level it out a little bit, I guess. Probably not too much. Looks like it gets broken up here a little bit when it gets dry. It's semi-sandy, but it's hard underneath. Border Patrol did a burnout a month or two back. Still sitting here. Doesn't go away. This container is probably not going to move. A little heavy. So these are all the different containers. These all need to be pulled out about five feet to make room for containers back here. We got a semi truck driving by. So. Looks like this is probably 12 feet behind here. Drops down a little bit. Four or five foot's all you need more, I guess. Make room. Vehicles everywhere. Yeah, another screw of my challenger yet. All these vehicles have to be yanked out of here. Ah, flat tires, good. It's easier to move. So this container we needed to move down to probably about where the truck is. Depending on how far we cut this back. Now we've been going downhill since that container. So this be filled in. See where the erosions eat away the ground, so that needs to be filled back in. So this goes uphill. I don't know if you can see the pitch here, but we are going uphill. This is our low spot down here. So it goes uphill a little bit. Now all of this bush stuff can be knocked out. And then backfill to make this level all the way over to here, and then a container could be put pretty far down here. More room. Not sure. I think Dad was probably hitting boulders under here, but it's hard to tell. It's a lot of mountain here. Oh, it's got a TV. All right. So this is all needs to be dug down. This can be dug down too. This goes up the side of the mountain. Too bad. We were finna having a container probably down about here, but like I said, if we make this all flat through here, we can put more, put more of them down there. So this is relatively level here, but it, it runs downhill this way on this side. So this can all be dug out if we want to, doesn't matter. And a squirrel. Eventually I wanted to put a road through here. Going right through all the weed pile here and come out next to the uh, the landing up here of the old house. So we put a building over here. Now this this needs to be dug down right here. So this can all be filled in on this side. Eventually, I want to put a building up here. And we have the road drive in right through here somewhere. So this is on the other side of the brush pile. And you can see how you start hitting rocks. Lots of them, the big ones. So that's a big boulder back there the house is built on right back there. 
Probably just go around the other side of that tree, go in between these two trees and straight through, I guess. This will come through the other side over here. So if we've got time, we can level this out a little bit and see how much we can dig in up here to level it. So there's a rock up in there somewhere, a big boulder. So from the corner of this house here to the building down there, I think it was like 90 feet or something. 100 feet, I can't remember. Basically where that telephone pole is. I don't know what the hell's under here. Probably not much. There's a water line here and a power line over there I found. The well's that way. So this is all can be dug out all through here. And this is all can be made into one big building pad up here. This is all sand through here. There's my trailer. <coughs> I cleared out a lot of this already. So up here, you can see how we're above this pad over here by about three or four feet. So this is the level we need to be at, not that level. I wanted to put a container next to that house right there, or not house, but building. That building has a slab in it, that building's on wood. This is all pretty soft, it gets hard when it rains. You drive over the bunch, it turns into the sand. So obviously this big power pole we cannot cut away. So probably about to here, you can go that way, depending on the angle you put the building at. But that pole there, you can bypass that pull and maybe pull a house over the building over a little bit. It is on, I don't know if it'll move or not. Probably not. Probably fall apart. But anyway, we got pretty good distance. We're probably almost 100 feet this way. And we can probably get 60, 70 feet that way pretty easy. 70 by 80 would be a pretty good sized building. This is all, like this is all broken up. I'm just driving constantly over this. It just tears it all up. Everything goes uphill. So the wheel is that way over there. Not sure what's going on with that. This has a septic system over here, so we cannot go in this area here. That's the leach field. Just through there. So over this way. If you can sneak through here is where the wheel is. if we can get through this way or not. It's pretty brushy. Looks like there's a hole this way though. Bees flying around my head. Keep trying to kill all this chili. That's cap flow. That'll take your meat off your arm if you hit it. This looks like a fence. Broken fence. So that could be a driveway through here also. Because that hill there is hard to get down with a trailer. And it's soft. This is rat heaven up here. So this is relatively flat ground, but when it rains, the water comes off the mountain over here. It's hard to see. Comes down the hill right through here. If it's really big rain, it isn't that big. So here's the well. Yeah, it looks like the uh, rats have uh, re-ratted the place. Yeah. They rebuilt their house. I just all cleared out of here. has the filter system up here. Big filter. Maybe I'll tell me what kind of filter I need to buy. Heavy duty something. Work on a thing for that. So when you piss hit that button there, 
it lets air in and this tank doesn't work anymore. So this is the power cord coming through here. It goes up to here. Somewhere down in there it goes to a hole, I guess. When you turn that valve on, I was getting water out of the hose here. I hung it up off that branch, which is the same height as that. It pumped for a little while, just, just kind of lightly dribbled out. Steady flow, but more than a dribble. But it kind of it dropped down to a dribble. Right after I hit that plunger valve there, that quit working up there. So I'm assuming whatever pressure is in this has kind of gone away. And I don't know what it takes to make all this stuff work. But, uh, anyway, it doesn't work. A lot of red, uh, red oak or whatever they call this stuff. I used to call it manzanita when we were a kid, but that's endangered. You can't have that. So I call it red, red wood. Junk pile. So anyway, this is another potential area to put a building, but it might get wet. So here's the uh, river going through. And then it ends. I think Dad just plugged it up. I don't think there's any kind of a pipe under there. So that's where it comes down off the mountain, though. And I've had seen it flowing water through there. So basically, the top of the mountain up there has got a big trough up there along the ledge. This is the house. So the mountain's like this. Here you got a trough that goes down, and this is the peak, and it's all the big valley from here to here. It's all low through here. It collects, makes a turn, and goes this way. There's another mountain right here. Comes down right through here, and that comes right down out there. So, so all the water on top of that mountain comes down here. So this is a fixer upper. A lot of fixing. And you can see how high we're up here now. This road needs a little help. That's relatively good because I keep driving over it. So over here it gets pretty bad. A lot of water comes down off the mountain on this side. That's the neighbor's fence there. So here's our, uh, our little rut. It's getting to be pretty big. The truck starts to bottom out through it now. Anyway, so that's all our mountain right there. There's a road that goes up there. It needs to be replowed. So I don't know if I can see the road mountain. It's right in front of us. I don't know if the camera focuses on that. That's a road that Dad put in. So that road needs to be fixed. It's like this. It's got big ruts like this. That snakes its way up the uh, hill and on the fence line, basically. The neighbor property's over there with a the flag and the camper's over there. It's Border Patrol flying around. There they go. And you can see how this turns in the sand up in here because it's no water. Just, just drive over all the time. I'm trying to avoid the, uh, the pad being because that's get stuck in this crap. So, another pull we got to avoid. All right, so I want the container to go in through here. So we level that out a little bit. We can stick a container in here. Let's put some fill in there. This is soft. It's like a foot deep sand through here. I want to keep that bush. Cat squaw. This is not cat squaw. This is pokey stuff. Cat squaw has hooks like that in it. There used to be bees up in that building right there. I don't know if they're still there or not. Get brave and find out. This thing like hill hurts for a month. 
Uh, I think they're gone. I'm gonna successfully kill them. I don't know, there's bees flying around still up there. Yeah, I think they're still in there a little bit. Yeah, they're still in there. I don't know if they're inside that building though. Hope they're not. Have to make another attempt at killing them again. All right. There's the work that needs to get done. So that was the forklift driving over the ground right there with hard tires. thousands of pounds that is but you can see it's just sand the more you drive over this the more it turns it back to sand these have never sunk in with all the weight on them these ones have been here for years that one's only been here for a year these have been here for 10 plus years so you can see they don't sink in at all there's a new forklift I just bought that'd be new to me it's a Yale F08. Yeah, sure it is. There, can we read what that says? I doubt it. White arm sign? Yeah, it's me. I don't know if anybody can read that or not. Probably not. up that see what it is. Let me look at the date on it. It says 6,000 pounds over here. Type G. Model. Highlights it slightly. No date. Uh, 10. 10 to 1932. I think it's something else. No, yeah, that's truck weight. Oh, that must be 10,007. 52, 750. There you go. 107. That's what it weighs. I wonder what's so heavy towing up here. Yeah, this one says. Dusty old truck division. Appears to be faded. All right. Pretty simple. Those are 10,000 pound trucks there. They didn't sink in, obviously. Just look at the road over there. I mean, there's the road snaking up the hill there. So that needs to be recut. You see all the, the granite, the whole top of that mountain is all granite like that. And there's nothing flat up there. It's just granite everywhere. And you can see the granite ledge up there, up there, going up that. That's where we got to cut the road. The road gets cut right through all that stuff. So, lots and lots of cutting. All right, well, there you go. This one looked like it had a big dent on top. It's all bowed up in the inside, but it looks good on this side. Yeah, look good. container over there. It appears to be warm in here, inhumid. Why is it humid in here? Let's light up. I didn't light was on. Yeah. Well, no obvious holes in it. Appears to be a hump right here. Definitely got some road damage through there. And these are supposed to be first line containers, but yeah. First line for something. All right, there's a gross vehicle weight. Got that. I don't know if it's taking a picture or not. I don't think no. Yeah, I'll grab a picture later. Whew, it is hot in there.
cast aluminum. Nice. Probably break. Oh, look at a big sticker on this thing. Jeez, that's huge. Right, light on. Yep, light. Too much light out here to see anything. All right. Whew, sun's out. It's bright. No obvious big dims. All right. Well, they are what they are. You get what you pay for these days. Well, MSC is. Look at all the dents in that thing. Jeez. Yeah, these are. These definitely are not number two quality. They look like number three quality to me. Oh well, you get what you get, I guess. All right. Well, that's it. Time to load this stuff up and get out of here. All right. Here's the road up to. Up the property line because the rock dad moved. Yeah, a little bit of rutage going. There's my house. I got my, my mansion right there. Fixer upper. I got one pull. I got telephone service, maybe. So there you go. Uh, the roof had a little damage to it, caved in last year. Might need a little work. Yeah. Yeah, a little fixer upper. Need a little paint on it. Should be fine. So this is the road that needs to be uh, worked on a little bit. Going up the hill. So there you go. I go down to about that big bush down there is my property line. So, there's a well actually on it, which is plus. Doesn't work, but you know. Alright, I'll go see the neighbors. Here we go.